friends and greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial of q a session this is from the team's questions and any viewers when they ask any question in the comment box i try to pick it up and explain you more with the video driven approach which gives you a better explanation understanding of certain scenarios which might also be helpful to many other than the person who asked it so just for your help, I thought of keeping it in the Q&A session. So today's question comes back again from the equivalence partition, which is about ISTQV itself, but they just have flipped the marks a little bit here and there. So please do not stick to this, which is just an example, just a scenario to ask you a question on that. The question says, if a candidate is giving an examination of 40 questions, he should get 25 marks to pass, that is 60%, 61%, and should get 80% for distinction. What is the equivalence class? Okay, so when they say what is the equivalence class, it basically means that they want to know what are the ranges. But if you see any other source on the Google, like from different portals, different blogs and all, this is not the right set of options which should have been provided to you. Because when you say equivalence classes or equivalence partition, it should tell you less than this, in between this and greater than this. They must actually provide the range as the options. So first and foremost point that this question is invalid, okay, with respect to the options provided to you. This cannot be the right set of options to be given to you. So please ignore such things and be aware of when you're looking at different sample questions from different sources. Second point, even if we consider it other way around, that what is the equivalence class values? So let's consider that for the time being and let's proceed to creating the table. Now, this is what the table will be created here based on the given scenario. Now, on the left side, the very first partition where the person fails is 0 to 24. That means minimum possible marks you know now. That means based on the scenario, we can determine if there is a minimum possible value is there or it can go up to negatives. But here, if it is examination, we know that the minimum possible marks could be zero and up to 24, it is failed because the statement clearly says he should get 25 marks to pass that. That means up to 24, it's a fail. The second range is 25 to 31. Now this time they have not given you the value, but they have given you what is the total marks. That is total number of question and the uh, distinction percentage that means 80 percent so you have to just calculate 80 percent of 40 and then come out to 31 that means 80 percent of 40 is 32 actually but up to 31 will be the second part of it so 25 to 31 is just pass not distinction to get distinction you must have 80 percent where 80 percent of 40 is 32 so 32 to 40 is distinction Okay, so that's how you create this table from the scenario. Now, now we know that this is a question which is given with the particular scenario. So sometimes they can give you total marks and they may tell you this is the 80% of that or 61% of that. So you might have to do additional calculation in order to get the right value. Most of the people go wrong in such calculation itself and that is what they want to check if you're right or not. But yes, remember, we considered a different scenario at the end of the question that what is the equivalence class values, not just class because the options are not as per that. So let's consider that these are asking for the equivalence class values. So we have option A that is 23, 24, 25. Now, if you see 23 and 24 falls under first class, 25 falls under second class. We have not covered the third class here. B, zero from first class, 12 from first class, and 25 from second class. So that means, again, it is not covering all the three partitions. C, 30, which is from second class, 36 from sec third class, 39 from third class. That means that also doesn't cover all the partitions. D, 32 from third class, 37 third class, 40 third class. That also doesn't cover the all right option. So to be frank, if you consider what is the equivalence classes, it doesn't have the right set of options. If you consider what is the equivalence class values, which will be picked up, that also is not covered in these options. None of the values, none of the options covers all the partition. But now if you think, what if the question says that, what is the set of values which fall under the same equivalence class? 
then D will be the right answer because they might wanted to ask but the person who has created this question or probably put on his blog or any other source because to be frank ISTQB does not recommend any other source than themselves so they might have forgotten to put the part of it so that's where these are the wrong things to be referred to in order to be asking questions to yourself that have I learned the technique uh, correctly or in order to get the right answer so first of all this question is null and void because ISTQB does not ask you such questions so please do not check your confidence and your level of understanding with help of these type of questions okay so even if you just consider that if they are asking what is the uh, option which covers all the options of a particular class or options which fall under the same class will be answer will be D but I do not want to highlight any answer right here because I do not recommend this question at all because this does not follow the pr principles or standards of ISTQB pattern so anyways as people ask me just certain justification for their queries and it's my really responsibility to address your queries and answer them well that's the reason I had to make up it up a you know video driven response so that's the response for your query and for the other people who come across this question so please keep that in your mind your learning your understanding is better than these type of questions so do not get confused and do not get diverted so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below because this playlist is completely for comment based questions and I'll be taking it into a video driven response so till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning